people. Hey guys, Pastor Art here with your mana and coffee. Actually, it's uh, mana and ice water today because it's really, really hot out here. Uh, Psalm 31, 14 and 15, it says, But I trusted in thee, O Lord. I said, Thou art my God. My time are in thy hand. Deliver me from the hands of mine enemy and from them that persecute me. I need to ask you today, are you trusting in God? Have you put your total reliance upon Him for everything in your life? Or are you just kind of casually doing it whenever you need to? You know, for a lot of people, they only trust God when they need to trust God. Oh, there's been a death in the family, or there's been this catastrophe, and they just basically forget to actually put their trust in God every day of their life. It's a daily practice. We don't just do it because we want to do it. We don't just do it because we feel like it that day. We don't live our life by that song, feelings, nothing more than feelings. We don't live that way. We put our trust and our reliance in God. But you know what? Satan's out to steal your peace. He's out to take those things away from you that you trust in God the most. And it happens right up here, right between these ears. He throws those suggestions of doubt. Are you really trusting God? How do you know you're trusting God? You big hypocrite. You know what? Like I said before, we're hypocrites saved by grace. Yeah, we're all a little hypocritical in our lives, but you know what? God saved us. He set us above that. We don't have to worry about it. So we need to have the confidence in God's word to hang on to when we're having issues and troubles in our lives and when we're having good times and great feelings and, 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 and we're being blessed beyond belief. We need to have the confidence that when we trust God, we put our total faith and reliance in Him. In Proverbs 3, verses 5 and 6, I know you guys know this one. There's a song that we used to sing in churches. It just goes, Trust in the Lord with all thy heart, and lean not on thy own understanding. In all of thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. Trusting in the Lord with what? All of your heart. Every little bit of it. Don't let this world creep in. Don't let Satan throw a suggestion up here that this is corrupt. It's not. This is the dwelling place of the Lord on high. He dwells in you and he dwells through you. He's taking care of the inside. So, like I said, Satan only has one power against us, and that's to suggest things. He can suggest all he wants, but you know what? I have the confidence, better yet, I have the confidence in our Lord Jesus Christ that I can stay the course. Why? Because I keep my mind buried in the Word and have this Word exercised in my heart and through my mouth to all of you and those around me. Because if I keep my mind on Him, if I keep my heart and lean not on my own understanding, you know, there's a lot of junk up here still. Things I used to do before I was Christian, you know, we have memories and we have the past that we deal with all the time. But you know what? If we keep our heart trusting in God, and lean not on those understandings of the world. He will make His ways known to us, and He will direct our paths according to His riches and glory, and according to His Spirit, His Holy Spirit in us. You know, today, guys, we can't allow God to be put to the sidelines and let Satan have predominance over us. We need to verify every time that our trust is in Him. In Isaiah 26, verse 3, it says, Thou wilt keep Him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on Thee, because He trusted in Thee. I don't know about you, but I like peaceful living. I like peaceful thinking. I don't like hassling over things. You know, like, when the bills come, do you guys panic? I don't. I pay my bills the minute I get them. I pay them. I write them out. Boom. They're done. And the rest of the month, I don't have to worry about them. They're already paid. They're done. You know? Do you do things the right way or do you do things your way? The right way is God's way. He says, oh, no man, a debt except that of love. Uh, got you there. 
Today, family, we need to trust in the Lord with all of our heart and lean not on our own understanding because Satan's out to steal your peace. He wants to rob your joy. He wants to put you under his foot. And you don't belong there because God said you are his child. He calls you the sons and daughters of the Most High God. You are blessed. So today, trust in the Lord and know that when you have the confidence in God's word and his love in your life, you can withstand the suggestions of Satan and you can turn him away and say, take a hike because I am a child of God. I'm not a sheep. I don't need a shepherd. I am a child of the Most High God and I have a personal relationship with God and I have a joint relationship with his son Jesus and I am an inheritance of the kingdom. Praise God. What an awesome thing to, to be able to claim. That's trusting in him, that's putting my faith where my, where my mouth is and saying, I believe what he's told me in his word today. Today, family, allow the trust of God to put you in right standing, directing your path, keeping your mind focused on him. Have the confidence in the word that he's going to put it in your heart to change everything about you. And he's going to make your path straight. You won't have any problems. You may have little humps in the road, but at least you're not falling into a pit anymore. May God bless you. Linda and I hope you have an amazing weekend. The rest of us here at Rock Ministries, my staff are praying for you constantly. We lift you up every day. May you have a blessed weekend. And if this video touches your heart and you know a friend that may need it, then please share it with them. Let them know you care enough for them to give them the word today. And then subscribe to the YouTube channel. And you'll be notified every time we post these videos to encourage you, lift you up, and get you out doing the work of God today. May you be blessed. And we'll talk to you real soon. God bless you guys.